Hi guys, I'm Keely, and today we're going to talk about how to navigate our IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. This is a software application that serves as a workspace for computer programmers to develop software or write programs. Now let's get to ours. Go to cs50.io and log in using edX. Your IDE will start to load. Don't worry if it takes a while, especially if you haven't opened the workspace in a bit. Your last open terminal window should still be open. However, sometimes there might be something weird going on with your windows. Let's see what would happen if we didn't have a terminal open. Now we can only see the file that I have selected to be open. To open a new terminal window, go to File and then click on New Terminal. But now we can only see the terminal. To split the screen the way we had it before, go to View, Layout, Horizontal Split. Then just drag the Terminal tab onto the new window. You can also create a different kind of screen split by going to View, Layout, Vertical Split. I prefer the horizontal split, but it's all up to your personal preference. Now that we have our workspace set up, we probably want to start coding, but we shouldn't without updating first. To do so, just select the command line by clicking on it and type Update 50, then hit Enter. Now there will be a load of gibberish on the screen. Just ignore it, because it will go on forever until it's done. Wait for the workspace to prompt you to restart your workspace. Just press OK and wait for it to reload. Now that we've updated our workspace, we still can't quite start. First, we need to make our folders and files. To make a folder, right-click under the blank space that says Workspace. Mine is already pretty full, so it doesn't look too blank, but it's the same idea. Select New Folder and type in the name of your new folder. I'm writing Hello World. If you want to rename the folder, just right-click the folder again, select Rename, and rename the folder. Now that we have this folder, we can create other files and folders in it. We already know how to make another folder, but now we'll go over creating files. Right-click the folder again, select New File, and then type in the name of your file. But watch out! The file format you use matters. A .c file will create a file in which you can write in the language C. A .html file will create an HTML file. A .py file will create a Python file, etc. Just make sure before you name the file that you know what language you're writing in. A useful file extension is .txt. This just creates a simple text file, like a Word doc. They're useful to have in your workspace if you ever need to take notes on anything. Remember to save your files all the time. To do so, you can just press Command S on your keyboard or go to File Save. Now that we have a bunch of files and folders, let's learn how to navigate between them. Computer scientists have a tendency to try to do absolutely everything they can from the keyboard. So while you can easily use the mouse to click on things, the IDE also has a few built-in mechanisms to help you navigate from the keyboard. If we start in the largest folder, Workspace, we can type CD Chapter 1 or any folder to navigate into that folder. Now that we're here, we probably want to see what's in it. Type LS to have the IDE list all of the files and folders in there. Type CD Hello to navigate into the Hello folder. There's a few ways to navigate back out of this small folder. The simplest of which is CD dot dot. This takes you back one folder, or in this case, out to Chapter 1. If you want to navigate to a folder that is on the same level as Chapter 1, but not Chapter 1, like Chapter 3, type cd dot dot slash Chapter 3. If you want to navigate to a folder that's on an even higher level, like Workspace, type cd tilde slash Workspace. In addition, there is a way to make new folders and files just from the command line typing touch and then a name of a file, like hello.c, will make a file with the name hello.c. Now let's say you want to make a folder. In computer science language, a folder is a directory. We need to make a directory, so we type mkdir chapter 1, or whatever directory we want to make. Let's go back to the file for a minute. I'm going over to hello.c. Say I'm ready to test my code and see it in action. Let's go to the command line and type make hello. The make command does exactly what it sounds like. It takes your human code and transforms it into machine code, something the computer can work from and execute. We type hello because that's the name of the file that we're referring to. 
this sort of refreshes your code every time you want to test it, which, by the way, should be pretty often throughout your coding process. Don't wait until you have hundreds of lines of code to make your file. You might come across a lot of errors that you could have fixed a while ago. Speaking of errors, it looks like when we made the code, the computer detected one. Let's check it out. It looks like the computer is yelling at us for two reasons. We didn't include an argument and a semicolon. Say you have no idea what that means or what kind of argument the function printf is supposed to include. We can type man printf to check the IDE's built-in manual entry on the function. It has everything you need to know about it. However, it's not the most easy to read. So feel free to head to reference.cs50.net for a more user-friendly experience. To exit the manual, just press Q. Now that we know what to fix, remember to save the file. Quick tip, to navigate from the file to the command line and vice versa, just press Option S. All right, let's make it. Looks like it's good. When you think your code is done, make sure to save, make, and test it one more time. The first thing you want to do to get ready to submit is to use the command style 50. This just checks your selected file for style mistakes, such as indentation or spacing. Let's type style50 hello.c to check this file. If all of the code shows up in the terminal, like it does here, that means we have a mistake or two. Let's check it out. Looks like our spacing is off. Typically, green blocks mean you need to add something, like an indentation, and red blocks mean you need to take something away. Let's add and delete an indent, making sure to save the file and check style50 again. Another quick tip. A shortcut to a previous command is the up arrow. Press it once to access the command you just typed or more times to go back further. If you think everything is good with your code, go ahead and use the correct slugs from the problem set documentation to check 50 and submit 50. So today we went over how to navigate your IDE, including how to make files and folders, navigate between them, and a few quick tips for when you start to code. My name is Keely, and thank you for watching. Good luck coding.